hello and welcome to this new tutorial in this tutorial we shall talk about the concept of positive liberty aap sab ka swagat hai is nayi tutorial mein aur aaj ke is tutorial mein hum log concept of positive liberty ke bare mein janenge so before i begin with the concept of liberty i would like to just inform you all that before positive liberty we have already spoken about the concept of negative liberty and the link to this tutorial of the negative liberty you will find in the description box below as well as it will be put up on the i button on top isse pehle maine concept of negative liberty ke bare mein ek video banaya hai uska link aapko description box mein mil jayega aur upar i ke button ke upar bhi mil jayega to fir chaliye shuru karte hain the concept of positive liberty well it is true that the concept of negative liberty played an important historical role it released the forces of production which were blocked by the feudal dynasties of feudal system however by the middle of the 19th century the capitalist system supported by negative liberty resulted disparities of wealth and power there was oppression there was exploitation and injustice in society now we need to understand here that the concept of positive liberty or before the positive liberty was put in place we have to remember that earlier the negative liberty no doubt that it played a most important role in the history and why it played a most important role in the history because the negative liberty released the forces of production if you remember in negative liberty which we have spoken about the entire idea entire concept of negative liberty was talking about the free market concept it was talking about that state should not interfere in the economic activities of the individual and state should leave everything on the individual let the individual decide what kind of uh, economic activities they want to carry out and by doing that the entire economic activity which was once controlled by these big people let us call them as a feudal system now that economic activity is with individuals now it is with all the individual and therefore negative liberty played a very important role to release the forces of production which was earlier controlled by this feudal system and today because of the negative liberty today it is controlled by not any more a group of a people or a feudal system but it is controlled by the individuals by and large now we need to remember here that however in the middle of the 19th century that capitalism capital system which was supported by negative liberty eventually it resulted into disparities of wealth and power that means although the actual idea was to decentralize the entire economic activity from feudal system to individual but eventually it happened this way that only some individual made a big money out of it only some individual actually control the so called the economic activity and because of this eventually it leads to disparities of wealth and a power not only just disparities of a wealth and a power among the individuals in the negative liberty but also it raises to the issues of oppression there was oppression there was exploitation carried out by this individual so called in the name of the negative liberty as well as there was a injustice which was carried out in society so therefore there is a huge demand which was put forward that negative liberty did not play a negative liberty has to be changed into something and what that something till here was not very clear idea now before i move to the other aspect let me explain this again in hindi aisa kehte hai ki jo negative liberty ko jo importance mila aur jo negative liberty ne jo revolution laya society mein especially during the 17th and 18th century if you remember my last episode then i think you will get the entire concept very clear because ek bar main yahan pe bol do ki jab tak aap negative liberty ko pehle 
पढ़ेंगे नहीं तो आपको पॉजिटिव लिबर्टी का कॉन्सेप्ट नहीं समझ में आएगा क्योंकि ये दोनों जो कॉन्सेप्ट है वो कनेक्टेड है इट इज़ बेसिकली कि नेगेटिव लिबर्टी से लोग पॉजिटिव लिबर्टी में आ गए और और इसका जो आने का जो कारण है वो यही है कारण कि जो नेगेटिव लिबर्टी ने जो लोगों को आश्वासन दिया था जैसे कि मैंने अभी बोला कि नेगेटिव लिबर्टी में वहाँ पर बहुत सा डिमांड था यूरोप में इन 17 और 18 सेंचुरी में और वो डिमांड बेसिकली किसके लिए था कि फ्री मार्केट सोसाइटी के लिए था जहाँ पर स्टेट शुड नॉट इंटरफियर मच इन टू द इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज़ ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल और स्टेट को पूरी जो इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी जो होती है वो पूरी इंडिविजुअल को देने के लिए राजी कर दिया था ये सच है कि नेगेटिव लिबर्टी प्लेड इम्पॉर्टेंट हिस्टोरिकल रोल नो डाउट अबाउट इट लेकिन जब हम नाइनटीन सेंचुरी में आते हैं सो नाइनटीन सेंचुरी में जब प्रवेश करते हैं तब ये पता लगता है कि जो नेगेटिव लिबर्टी ने जो कुछ अचीव किया था सत्रह और अट्ठारह सेंचुरी में वो एक्चुअली वन साइडेड स्टोरी था यस इट वॉज सपोज टू बी फॉर एवरी इंडिविजुअल लेकिन उन्नीसवीं शताब्दी में आते आते ये पता लगा कि जो वेल्थ थी और जो पावर था इकोनॉमिक वेल्थ और इकोनॉमिक पावर वो सारे लोगों के हाथ में नहीं गया बल्कि कुछ गिने चुने ग्रुप्स के हाथ में चला गया या फिर ऐसा कहिए कि गिने चुने कुछ इंडिविजुअल के हाथ में रह गए और इसके कारण वहाँ पर बहुत से डिस्पैरिटीज़ हो गया मतलब एक साइड में आपको रिच मतलब बहुत रिच लोग मिलेंगे एक साइड में आपको पुअर मतलब बहुत पुअर लोग मिलेंगे और इसकी वजह से वहाँ पर ऑपरेशन ज़्यादा बढ़ने लगा वहाँ पर लोगों का और रिसोर्स का एक्सप्लोटेशन और होने लगा और इसकी वजह से वहाँ पर इनजस्टिस और बढ़ने लगी सोसाइटी में और यही कारण था कि लोगों ने अभी सोचा कि नेगेटिव लिबर्टी हैज़ फेल्ड टू अचीव एनीथिंग फॉर द रियल इंडिविजुअल एंड देफो देर वॉज ह्यूज डिमांड कि हमें और दूसरा कुछ चाहिए अभी वो दूसरा कुछ क्या है वो हम आगे के लेक्चर में देखेंगे सो द रिजल्ट ऑफ दैट इनजस्टिस ऑपरेशन एक्सप्लोटेशन एंड इनजस्टिस इन सोसाइटी द ह्यूमैनिस राइटर्स सोशलिस्ट मार्क्सिस एंड पॉजिटिव लिबरल थिंकर्स स्टार्टेड डिमांडिंग अ न्यू डेफिनेशन ऑफ लिबर्टी एंड दे पुट फॉरवर्ड द थीस इज दैट द पॉलिसी ऑफ नॉन इंटरवेंशन बाय द स्टेट वॉज नॉट कंपेटिबल विथ लिबर्टी as a universal principle example the liberty of the employers to hire and fire workers at his will made a mockery of the freedom of contract the workers were made to live a life of object poverty it was demanded that the benefit of the liberty should go not only to the rich people but also to the poor workers thus The result was that that the negative view of a liberty gave a way to a positive liberty, and this concept of positive liberty is widely been supported by following thinkers such as Kant, Hegel, Green, Barker, and Laski. Now, what happened here with the negative? liberty as i said that ne- negative liberty eventually failed to create any space for a individual or any space for to bring real liberty and equality among the people and as a result as i said there was a huge demand for a new definitions of liberty and therefore writers such as from humanist writers socialist marxist and positive liberal writers and thinkers they started demanding that we need to find a new definition of liberty they put forward the thesis that the policy of non intervention by the state was actually not compatible with the idea of a liberty which is based on the universal principles now that was their understanding that that whatever policy which state has adopted that state will not interfere in into the aspects of a liberty was actually not correct it is not compatible to the liberty at all and especially of that liberty which is based on universal principle of liberty and therefore they gave 
a very specific example that why the policy of a state which is non-interference is not capable because examples the liberty of the employer to hire and fire the worker at his will made a mockery of the freedom of contract basically they says that if state does not intervene if state does not become a partner in the liberty then what happens that any individual any employer will just going to hire people and will fire at his own will and he will not going to uh, appreciate he will not going to accept the freedom of contract the contract which employee and employers have signed that contract has to be supported has to be backed by somebody and if the state is not at all part of this contract then who will protect the employees right and therefore they said that because in negative liberty so much of freedom was given to individual that they could hire anybody and they could fire anybody at their own will and state because state was not a part of this contract state could not do anything and therefore this is a very important aspect that why humanist writers socialist and marxist and some positive liberal therefore started demanding that state must change its policy and state must become a part of that policy part of that liberty so that state can protect and give some kind of a protection to the workers moving ahead they also said that the workers were made to live their life in object poverty obviously if the state is not going to look into the affairs of the workers and if the state puts everything on the industrialist or the businessman or the individual or the on employers then who will take care of the workers if tomorrow factory get closed down if tomorrow there is a ample of unemployment rises up who will take care of these people state cannot raise its hand and say sorry the entire responsibility was of the companies no state is a partner to the company state is a partner to the policy and therefore workers has to be again protected by the state and because in negative liberty state was not part of the entire policy because in negative liberty they expected state to not interfere into the economic activities of individual and because of this eventually workers were made to live their life of object poverty moving forward there was a huge demand that the benefit of liberty should go to should go not only to the rich people but also to the poor people or the workers which is very very true that when you talk about economic liberty when you talk about economic activities much of the benefits were gone to the rich people and here in negative liberty poor workers or workers were never given to that kind of importance and therefore thus the result was that that the negative liberty eventually gave away to the positive liberty or isi ki wajah se and because of this there was a huge demand that we must have a new definitions of liberty and therefore negative liberty or negative view of liberty gave away to a positive liberty and this concept of a positive liberty was supported by following thinkers such as kant hegel green barkers and laski now let me explain this again in hindi jaise humne abhi dekha ki negative concept of liberty ka jo tha wahan par state ka intervention kam tha economic activities mein pura individual ko zyada haq diya tha aur wahan par free market tha iski wajah se ye ho gaya ki 19th century mein aate aate जो इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज़ थी वो कुछ ही लोगों के हाथ में रह गई और यहाँ पर स्टेट ने अपनी एक पॉलिसी बनाई थी कि हम तो इंटरफेयर नहीं करेंगे बिकॉज पीपल वॉन्टेड दे ओन फ्रीडम और उसी की वजह से बाद में एक डिमांड आने लगा कि वी मस्ट हैव अ न्यू डेफिनेशन ऑफ लिबर्टी और ये डिमांड क्यों आने लगा क्योंकि नेगेटिव लिबर्टी में क्या होता था कि वर्कर्स को जो एम्प्लॉयज था वो काम पर लेता था और कभी भी फायर कर सकता था और जब भी वो कभी भी उसको फायर कर देता था अपने काम से सो ही वुड ब्रेक अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट जो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट था एक कंपनी और एम्प्लॉय के बीच में 
वो बीच में कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ब्रेक होता था और जब ये कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ब्रेक होता था तो स्टेट या सोसाइटी स्टेट को इंटरफेयर करने का हक नहीं था इन नेगेटिव लिबर्टी और उसकी वजह से जो फ्रीडम ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट था उसकी तो मतलब भज्जियाँ उड़ गई उसके अलावा अगर जब भी कोई कंपनी या फैक्ट्री बंद हो जाती है तो उसका इफ़ेक्ट वर्कर्स के ऊपर रहता क्योंकि जो एम्प्लॉय था वो बोलता था कि कंपनी बंद हो गई आई कैन नॉट हेल्प यू आउट तो इसमें क्या हो गया कि जो लोग थे वहाँ पर जो वर्कर्स थे उनको एकदम बहुत ख़राब व्यवस्था में उनको जीवन उनको काटना पड़ा और इसका कारण ये भी है क्योंकि उसका स्टेट वॉज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ दिस सो स्टेट को बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स पॉलिसी ऑफ नॉन इंटरवेंशन स्टेट कभी इंटरवीन कर ही नहीं पा सकती थी ये दूसरा कारण था और तीसरा जो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट कारण था कि जो बेनिफिट्स होता है ना लिबर्टी का इकोनॉमिक लिबर्टी ले लो वो बेनिफिट ज़्यादातर रिच लोगों के पास जाता था और जो वर्कर्स होते थे उनको कम मिलता था सो so, ये तीन कारण थे कि लोग इवेंचुअली वैताक गए वो लोग सोचने लगे कि यार हमने तो नेगेटिव लिबर्टी में ये ये सोचा था कि स्टेट शुड नॉट इंटरवीन मच स्टेट शुड अलाव इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज़ टू गिव टू इंडिविजुअल स्टेट शुड मेक फ्री मार्केट सोसाइटी एंड दैट वाज गुड एंड इट वाज रियली गिविंग द बेनिफिट बट आगे चलते हुए ये पता लगा जब नाइनटीन सेंचुरी में हम आ गए मीड ऑफ द नाइनटीन सेंचुरी में वहाँ आने के बाद ये पता लगा कि दरअसल वो जो पॉलिसी थी उस पॉलिसी के कारण सबको बेनिफिट नहीं मिला सिर्फ थोड़े लोगों को बेनिफिट मिला और इसकी वजह से बहुत से जो वर्कर्स थे उनको ये परेशानी सहनी पड़ी और इसकी वजह से देर वॉज अज डिमांड टू हैव अ न्यू डेफिनेशन ऑफ लिबर्टी और ये जो पॉजिटिव लिबर्टी का जो कॉन्सेप्ट बाद में लाया गया उसको सपोर्ट किया कैंट ने हेगल ने ग्रीन ने बाकर एंड लास्की सो दीज वे द ग्रेट पाइनियर्स हु कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड टू द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ पॉजिटिव लिबर्टी सो नाउ लेट एस कम टू द पॉइंट एंड अंडरस्टैंड इन शॉर्ट वॉट इज पॉजिटिव लिबर्टी द पॉजिटिव लिबर्टी कंसिस्ट इन एक्सटेंडिंग द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू इंडिविजुअल to pursue his happiness when he is obstructed for a wants of means or capacity due to the prevailing socio economic conditions so the first very important concept the first very important point which will help us to understand what is positive liberty means you must create an opportunity for an individual to pursue his happiness further to argue about the positive liberty it is like to provide a cripple with an artificial leg to an ignorant man with education and an unemployed man with a job so if we summarize this four point together then this is what talks about the positive extension of freedom or so called the positive liberty so in short what is positive liberty positive liberty is a situation is a condition wherein you allow every individual to pursue his happiness whatever the way of happiness may be state must back that individual with some kind of interference because state has to be a partner into the development of a positive liberty as well as development of an individual therefore individual must be allowed to pursue his happiness it is like to provide a cripple with a artificial leg that means when someone is not able to do anything state and its policy must provide that benefit and make that person to pursue his happiness similarly positive liberty is like providing an education to an ignorant man so that you can make him enlightenment so that you can make him uh, empower and to achieve his happiness or a goal and similarly it is like providing a job to a unemployed man so this is how the positive liberty looks into the issue and the entire concept let me explain this again in hindi now ant mein ye prashn aata hai ki positive liberty kya hai positive liberty yahi hai ki yahi condition hai jahan par har ek insaan ko अपनी खुशी को 
ظاہر کرنے کے لیے ایک اسپیس دینا اور اپنی خوشی کی طرف پرسیو کرنے کے لیے مطلب اس خوشی کو پانے کے لیے جو پورے سادھن لگتے ہیں وہ پورے اسٹیٹ نے تھرو اٹس پالیسی دینے چاہیے آگے یہ بھی ایگزامپل ہے جیسے کہ کوئی ایک لنگڑا آدمی ہے اگر لنگڑا ہے تو اس کو چھوڑنا نہیں چاہیے اس کو آرٹیفیشیل لیک دینا چاہیے تاکہ وہ چلے تاکہ وہ اپنی جو آبجیکٹیوز ہے اس کی اس کی جو ہیپینیس ہے اس کو اچیو کرے پازیٹیو لیبرٹی از آلسو لائک گیونگ ایجوکیشن ٹو اگنورنٹ مین مطلب جو ان پڑھ لوگ رہتے ہیں اگنورنٹ رہتے ہیں ان کو کچھ پڑھی نہیں رہتی ہے ان کو اگر شکشا دی گئی تو پھر ان میں ایک پازیٹیو چینج ملے گا اینڈ دیٹ ول اگین ہیلپ دیم ٹو اچیو دیئر ہیپینیس اینڈ سملرلی جیسے کوئی ان امپلائڈ انسان ہے تو اس کو جاب دینا اور جاب ملنے کے بعد جس طریقے سے وہ کانٹریبیوٹ کرے گا اس فیکٹری کے لیے اس کمپنی کے لیے اپنے سوسائٹی کے لیے دیٹ ول اگین ول ہیلپ ہیم ٹو اچیو آل از ہیپینیس اینڈ سکسیز سو یہ ساری چیزیں ان شارٹ پازیٹیو لیبرٹی کے بارے میں فوکس کرتے ہیں اینڈ دیفو دز آل پوائنٹس آر اے پازیٹیو ایکسٹینشن آف فریڈم سو ٹو کنکلوڈ Positive liberty is not an absence of restraint. It is a provision of those socio-economic and political condition without which liberty cannot be realized. And therefore, positive liberty implies the removal of only such constraint and provisions of only such opportunities which can be accomplished through alternation of socio-economic conditions. So, this is all about the concept of positive liberty. I hope you have understood both the concept that is negative liberty and the positive liberty. Feel free to comment in the description box below and I will see you soon in next tutorial. Till then, take care.